hazy moon Through the ocean vast The ships are closing in This will turn to dust all righty we finally have some exciting news to share on construction things were really dying there it was quite quite boring but nonetheless track has arrived at canada's wonderland um it looks like two turn pieces and the booster launch have arrived along with more supports um and obviously some bolts to install those uh track pieces to the supports I suspect that we'll start to see some more track arriving slowly, but I just wanted to show you guys that obviously they are manufacturing the track, priming it, painting it, and then shipping it because there shouldn't have been that long of a delay in between those track segments. So I do strongly disagree that track has been in production for a while. I think the proof is in the pudding that it is being manufactured. We had someone literally go to the facility that we knew um, and they saw those pieces that you see down there being manufactured just literally about a month ago. Um, so as you see here at the top of Wonder Mountain, one of the peaks, they are redesigning that peak to better fit the roller coaster. So they're gonna take it from a slant to more of a vertical downward um, kind of design uh, to better fit the roller coaster. So that has been in the works. Over in Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land, they are working on a ton of caissons. So they are putting those caissons into the ground um, and the footings are being done on top. So you can see all those little orange dots. Uh, you can see all the, the caissons in the ground if you look very closely. I know it's hard to tell sometimes because we are super far away, but this is the best angle you are going to get when the park is closed. Um, over by Pizza Pizza, they have started to remove trees, so that'll be really cool slash sad to see when we go into the park on Friday. So there'll be a lot more tree removal going on in the Pizza Pizza patio area leading up to the mountain side where Wonder Mountain's Guardian is. Outside of that, no other action going on um, inside of these areas. So essentially the two main areas they are working on right now are the top of the mountain, inside the mountain included in that, and Extreme Sky Flyers plot of land. It is taking a long time to do Extreme Sky Flyers plot of land. For it to be one element of the ride, they have been in that location for about three weeks now. So. It's a little crazy, especially with you see how quickly they moved on other coasters like Reptira. Um, but over here, they're starting to dig up some of the bricks and work on electrical in this area. I have a feeling they are redirecting electrical because there's going to be a footing or a caisson that is going to go where maybe some electrical wires are housed currently. We saw that in the Alpen Fest area of Canada's Wonderland before they started construction. They rerouted a lot of electrical. So now they're doing it in this area. So I fully suspect um, that that is the case with this area as well. So that'll be interesting to see when the park opens, see if there's any evident signs of construction in that area. Over here on the mountainside, underneath Wonder Mountain's Guardian's lift and first turn off the lift, you can see orange spray paint where support columns are gonna go in. And if you look really closely, you can actually see more holes in the mountain on the side of it as well. I'll use some red arrows to point um, for you guys. But yeah, that was really cool. Um, I'm curious if they cut the hole at the top as well. There is wood panels up there, but where the hole would be housed as well, um, there is still some mountain um, structure. So I'm not quite sure they cut that circular hole up there yet, um, but uh, there is definite evident construction going on on top of Wonder Mountain. So this project does seem to be moving a lot more forward now. Uh, if you remember the construction tour, uh, Brent did tell us that they were still working on some final designs for how the mountain was going to look. So not structural designs in terms of the actual coaster, but more so, so aesthetics um, and theming and stuff like that. So it looks like they may have finalized those plans and now they're moving forward with those, that construction project as they have those plans. Um, in terms of Extreme Sky Flyer, it's, yeah, again, like, it's crazy that we're week three and we're still doing some caissons here, but there appears to be a lot more caissons and footings than what I saw in the animation, um, or at least that's what it looks like being this far away. So again, 
we'll have to wait and see. Um, at front gate, they're adding more lockers because they have that no bag policy for Halloween Haunt, so that's exciting. They had around 120 lockers, so it looks like they're doubling it, so they'll have around 240. Um, anyways, that's all I have for a construction update for you guys today. I'm literally about to leave my house with Craiga, and we are about to go do something really cool that you guys are going to like. Um, it is coaster related, so stay tuned. Have a good one, guys. Bye.